well, I've been seeing the signs there in Abbey Street for a, a number of years, and um, I heard it was controversial, so once I heard that, I wanted a piece of it, so I had to try it. And I also knew somebody who had a personality test, and um, kind of intrigued me a little bit to find out their answers. So I went in the very next day, and pretty much bought from them. They, had, they didn't need to root me off the street. I said, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want this course, I want that book. So I laid it down to them, really. I could see the frustration in the, um, the person's face who was conducting the uh, personality test that he couldn't really find a point of stress in my life but naturally they're not going to turn anyone out the door they want numbers so they're going to sign me up for a course one way or another so that's why I asked them what course they think I should do so they started me on uh, a basic course that was probably about 40 or 50 euro it was very cheap when I was doing courses they pulled me in one night and said they make you feel really welcome and part of their group. And they said, we'd like the best for you. They give you the, those type of speeches. They do it to everybody. And they recommended um, a form of auditing called life repair. And they predicted that uh, I'd need two intensives. Now an intensive consists of 12 and a half hours and 12 and a half hours at a thousand euro per intensive. So they predicted 2000 euros worth of auditing. So I says, yeah, cool, let's do it because you know, I had the money and I said yeah it's something to do in the evenings and if it did everything they promised it would do I said yeah, it's worth a try anyway you know so I embarked upon that also at the time you're welcomed into this group and you're on a buzz anyway because of that so you're convinced into thinking that the courses have benefited your life but in reality I could take nothing to the outside world that I did in the courses well as brainwashing is concerned during the uh, STCC course success through communication course um, you have to sit and stare into somebody's eyes without flinching for as long as you can and this could take hours hours on end I did this and I hallucinated during it and I also got violently sick, whereas I had to run out to the bathroom and get sick, physically sick. And um, afterwards, I just, I was completely numb. You're, you're, it was like a, an experience similar to taking drugs, hallucinogenic drugs. And at that moment, I thought, yeah, there's something strange in this, but I'll persist because maybe it's just all part of the process to get to the end phenomenon, you know. You uh, hear nothing about the OT levels, well, none of the content of them anyway. You see them written on the chart, and you'll, oh, they'll say to you, you'll get there someday, you know. Um, but no, there are thousands, tens of thousands of euro away <laughs> in reality. No, the courses were relatively cheap, so I had the money there, and that wasn't a problem. It was when I started seeing the, um, the lives of the people and the staff members who had done these courses maybe 20 years prior to the time I've done them, and they had no success in their life. They had nothing. They hadn't got a penny to their name. They didn't own a house. They had to ha have outside jobs outside of their post in Scientology to make ends meet, and uh, that's when alarm bells rung, and I asked questions, actually, after that. Okay, well, I went to some senior members of staff and asked why such and such a person who was also on staff is not successful in their life because, of, um, because they've done the same courses as I have. And they basically told me, they wrote it off and said, oh, well, they're not applying what they've learned properly, you know, and it's, 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 it's their fault that it's not working. Even though this person now that I'd be speaking about would be a dedicated member of staff and a dedicated Scientologist, um, yet their colleague would say this about them surprise me but I persisted anyway because I wanted to see what it worked for me I was willing to give it a bit of time and I knew something was wrong when a senior staff member told me that their their daughter did not mean as much to them as Scientology Scientology was far more important than their child 